then we will discuss about the short essays. First short essay, mention the ideal requirements of impression materials, explain the composition and manipulation of impression compounds. So we have to write regarding the ideal requirements. The ideal requirements are, they should be fluid enough to adapt to the oral tissues, they should be viscous enough to be contained in the tray that is seated in the mouth. Then the third requirement, while in the mouth, they should transform into a rubbery or rigid solid in a seasonable amount of time. Ideally, the total setting time should be less than 7 minutes. Fourth point, the set impression should not be distort or tear when removed from the mouth. The impression made from this materials should remain dimensionally stable at least until the cast can be poured. Then the requirement, sixth requirement is the impression should maintain its dimensional stability after removal of a cast so that a second or third cast can be made from the same impression. The materials should be biocompatible. Then the, ideal, then the next requirement is the materials associated processing equipment and processing time should be cost effective. So these are the requirements of impression materials. Then we have to write regarding the composition and manipulation of impression compound. The composition we have to write the about the each ingredient and its function. Then, we, then the next subheading should be the manipulation of impression compound. We know that they, it can be available as sticks and cakes. So we have to explain each and each point in the in a detailed manner. So coming to the next question, again the classification of impression material, then we have to write regarding the composition, setting reaction and different types of adhesion silicon. Here also we have to write regarding the classification, each examples of the classification and the composition, then the setting reaction and the different types of adhesion silicon. Then coming to the third question, classify the primary impression materials. Then briefly on the composition and manipulation of the impression compound. Coming to the next question that is classify primary impression materials then describe briefly on composition and manipulation of impression compound. The primary impression materials are the impression materials that is used for making the preliminary or primary impressions and the materials used are alginate and modeling compound. Alginate may be used for preliminary impression for complete danger, some cases of RPD, some cases of FPD. Alginate impression should be poured immediately. Then modeling compound or impression compound is also used as a primary impression material. Then we have to write regarding the composition manipulation on the of the impression compound. Then coming to the next question, we have to write what is an impression. Then we have to write regarding the hydrocolloid impression material that are the alginate and agar. In the first question, we have already discussed what is an impression. Then the hydrocolloid impression materials are agar and alginate. Here we have to give what, are, what is an agar, its composition, its uses, its advantages and disadvantages. Alginate also we have to write regarding the uses, its advantages, its composition its properties, its manipulation and its disinfection. Then coming to the elastomeric impression materials, we have to write regarding the polysulfide, polyether, adhesion silicon and condensation silicon. Then coming to the next question that is modified alginate and non-eugenol paste. We know that the modified, we have to write what are the modified alginates and we have to write regarding the non-eugenol paste.